The Rules of Backyard Cricket is a story about brothers. It's a story about Darren and Wally Keefe who grow up in the rough streets of Footscray in the 70s. They're good at one particular thing and that's cricket and from these incredibly intense backyard battles they emerge into the world as professional cricketers but they approach it in very different ways. Darren gets by on a smile and a laugh whereas Wally is tough, disciplined, focused, intense. He's everything that Darren's not. One of the important moments in Wally and Darren's childhood is when they're picked to play in a representative game at the Richmond Oval for the Western Suburbs 11. They get in a fight in the car park and they're rescued by a very unlikely saviour, a great lumbering lad called Craig Wern, who turns out to be a saviour who comes with various hooks attached. It's only much, much later on that Darren and Wally work out that the friend that they make that day in Craig may not turn out to be the sort of friend they want to have. In the book I imagined it as this kind of field of dreams that it's a baking hot December day and there's a perfect turf wicket out there. There's players in whites dotted around and sight screens, brilliantly painted boundary lines. And somewhere over on Punt Road behind me there were all these poor commuters stuck in traffic with their arms hanging out the windows. As their careers progress, they take very, very different turns. Wally becomes the captain of the Australian Test side, whereas Darren turns his back on cricket and becomes a media celebrity. What happens next somehow leads to Darren being in the boot of a car, bound and gagged, and reflecting on his life. It's a moment that has been coming a long time for Darren because all his life he's been told yes by everyone around him and he's never had to wonder or account for his own actions. But now he's lying there in the dark, he's pretty busted up, and he's finally got that moment in his life where he looks back at all of those decisions he made that led to the boot and asks himself whether it was really worth it in the end.